Greetings fans, hyper fans, and people lost looking for videos of cats. Um, once again I'm doing a Transformers review. This is the last of the mini reviews that I'm doing from that big box that I got from Uncle Billy. And once again I'm starting the video showing you something related to, but not exactly what I'm going to be reviewing again. This is... Generations tracks. Um, luckily, the only Transformer I've got at the moment in duplicate. He is a fantastic figure. Um, the fact that he does have that wings folding out third mode, uh, the sculpt on the face is just spot on. Um, Transformation is really clever. They've even had that alteration of this with. Um, fresh front pieces and have reused him to do wheel jack. Um, he's almost perfect. The one thing that I don't like though um, is the flame details on the car. Um, they are very sort of 90s tribal style flame deco and it dates it. I mean, I'm not saying that his 80s incarnation was any less dated, but at least it sort of matched the history of the character and, you know, the toys were this big thing of the 80s. It's, it's okay with that. I mean, in robot mode, you don't even see his stickers. But, I don't know, um, maybe it's because the print on this wasn't that uniform. I mean, if you have a very careful look at that, I'm not sure if it will show up on the video. Um, the left-hand side is a lot stronger than the right-hand side. Um, I mean, that almost looks half-painted on mine. Um... And I had a look at the repo stickers, and they've been interesting, but the reason that I didn't use to put my stickers on my original Transformers is they would peel off with playing with them. Um, somebody told me about a sticker company that did stickers that were far more like the factory tampos rather than aftermarket stickers, and I thought, okay, well, they're kind that sounds kind of cool but can I get hold of them? And then when I put my order in with Uncle Billy, there they were. So I thought, okay, it's worth a shot. Um, so these are they. Um, they come in a nice hard plastic case, um, which basically held the new Chinese sort of scent notes as they were sent out to e-travellers. I don't care, it's just a nice hard plastic box, which definitely stops these from getting scrunched up. Um, we have one, two, three, four, four stickers. Um, a little bit of this one's actually transferred onto the backing sheet of this one. Um, so I might have to trim that down a little bit. This one, which is the license plate, which is supposed to go somewhere on the back, I'm probably not going to use at all. So it's really these two, classic G1 hood ornaments that I want to go for. Um, as you can see, both halves are on separate sheets. Um, and let me just show you how these work. They actually are like temporary tattoos. Um, you have a backing, a clear plastic on top, and the sticker actually sticks to the clear plastic until you've adhered it to your vehicle. Um, 
there's a lot of blue around there which is supposed to completely cover up the yellow but I'm not sure it's going to cover that and it's supposed to fill that panel completely um, and I'm supposed to align that on those legs I do not feel confident putting that sticker on over the existing graphics so what I'm going to do is as usually happens when you're trying to transform these I'm going to pop both legs off of this main body this means that I can actually move them around a little bit more and get the stickers lined up perfectly I'm also going to take off the original graphics on that um, that's pretty easy to do um, obviously these things don't scratch off easily so what I've got is surgical alcohol um, bottle costs like 79p from any chemist and just a piece of fiber free cleaning cloth cloth just goes over the bottle take one section and start cleaning away as you can see it takes that red off straight away this will also lift off any fingerprint grease or mold grease from playing with it as you can see that's really stripping the colour straight out that I'm going to get this one done and show you the two in comparison and then we'll move on to the next stage okay so with the first of those legs cleaned off you can see that there's a little bit of the outline still left on there um, you might be able to see there's a little bit of colour still in those front grill designs um, but I'm a lot happier putting the sticker over that if you really want to get that 100% clean you can actually take these screws off, take this panel off and just leave it soaking overnight in the alcohol um, and that would just have to strip everything off of that this stuff is not going to warp the plastic um, it's nice and actually pretty safe I'm going to clean this side off and then we'll have a look at putting the stickers on So there it is, um, you can see what I mean about just that little bit of outline staying in place, um, but that was about two minutes maybe on each half of that. Okay. Now this is the stuff that I don't really like doing live on camera. Okay. So peeling off the backing. Okay. So that's got no grease, no dirt on it. and just holding it by the corners so I'm not touching the design at all I'm just lining up that top corner just getting that as straight as I can Ah.
Okay, that's you can see that slight color change on the blue there where it's lifted up a little bit. So that's where I've tried to pull it off again and it's not quite adhered to the back. Okay, let's try doing it this way. There's a slight curve to the top here which is supposed to match up with the windshield but isn't doesn't seem to be quite the right shape. Okay. Right, so that seems to be right on the very, very edge. Um, and starting from that bit that's pulled, I'm just going to rub out to the bottom. It's a little bit lower down than I thought it was going to be. So I've just detached the foot. And I'm just rubbing from that corner to get as much adhesion as possible. And that's already sticking to the car better than it's sticking to the backing. Just going to get some clean tissue. Okay, now it's sticking out over the front a little bit. I'm just running that my fingers in there. It's not a perfectly matching blue, unfortunately. And that's not as close to the edge as I wanted it. Let's try it with the other half. Now with this half I'm going to do something slightly different. I thought I was actually going Because here, now lining it top to bottom, I've got something there to line it up to. That's probably much closer to it being on the right edge. But there's going to be that gap there because I got the first one improperly lined up. Just going to take this half off for a second. And as you can see, the more you rub it on, the more it comes away from that back. There I have it really nicely aligned on the edge. It's 
come over a little bit at the bottom, but that goes quite nicely into there. So, of course, the second one goes on absolutely perfectly, and the first one, yeah, not so well. But even with that little bit of a panel line, I still think that's an improvement. I really do. Now, the blue is not an absolutely perfect match. Um, I don't know whether this was designed for the Takara release or just not having great colour matching. Um, and it's a pig to put on. Now, as I said, I got these from Uncle Billy's Toy Castle, link in the description below. Um, if you're going to order this, I would recommend, because he's a good guy and combines shipping, and these are not that expensive, buy two sets. That way, if, like me, you screw up one side, you can peel that back off and put on the other one, and you've got that space to screw around with. Um... Okay, let's do one of the other stickers. Now, the one thing that you will be able to see in robot mode is his chest. And he has a nice Autobot logo there. Um, it's the classic red and white on a yellow background. The reveal, the shield stickers are pretty nice. Um, centered would be good. I mean, okay. Who am I to talk? I've just done that to that. But I think this sticker is going to look better than this one. So if I can peel that off very carefully. Because just because it doesn't want to be on here doesn't mean I'm not going to put it somewhere else. I'm going to pause the video for a second and go and get a blade to take that off with. So there we have it. Just sliding up from that lifted corner. I think I may actually put this on one of the doors. That's been a little bit scarred at the back. And has left an awful lot of the glue on here. So, again, I'm going to pull as much of that off as I can to start with. Grab my cleaning cloth and alcohol. Speaking of which, it is only two weeks till auto-assembly. Um, if you are coming to that, comment below and I will try and find you. Um, I've been doing an awful lot of buying new stuff on the Full Metal Hero forum. Prepaying it pretty much just to give me an excuse to run around looking for people. So I will be doing my best Death's Head impersonation. And going on a bounty hunting spree. It keeps costs down, yes? Okay. Let's see if I can get a blade between the two layers here. Because peeling these off is always a pain. There we go. 
Now what I'm going to do here is just line up the blade with the bottom of that. Yeah, you can see that little dink that's been taken out of it. Square that up. Center it. I'm actually using the... I'll show you in a second. Actually using that little piece at the top there to line this up because this is exactly the same width as the inside measurement on that hinge there. So again, let's rub that on. Now obviously since this is not such a curved piece, it's not lifting off the backing quite as nicely as the front two. But there we go. Now that leads me to think Is there any way I can rescue that little bit of sticker to fill in that space? And I'm just going to use a pin to lift that tiny sticker portion off. One corner and just slide it into place. Obviously, this is not going to look as good as a completely untorn sticker. Now, the benefit of buying two. But that's sort of filled the gap. So let's put the plastic back over that. And actually That's pretty damn good. All right, tracks, let's get your legs back on. And there you have it, as 80s as ever, and that is the track that we remember and love. Now I'm going to go and stop doing car reviews before I completely turn into Jeremy Clarkson and decide to punch a Muslim and eat a fox.